Hi there, and welcome to this week's EMBN show from the hub of world cycling, Girona in Catalonia, where we've been at the Sea Otter Europe Festival. I've also been doing a bit of a Game of Thrones spotting out there too. If you're a fan, it's a pretty, pretty cool place for that. And some dead handy food too. Mm. Yeah. Doddy, I've not been funny, right? But uh, we seem to be going to a lot of festivals in the last 12 months. Yeah, it's been a lot, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Totally. Uh, and do you know what I'm finding is that at every festival I go to, there seem to be some local nuggets from that country. Always. Yeah. You, you know, I, you go to Eurobike, there's some, there's some German brands. You go oh, to sure. Rock Dessert Festival, there's some small French e-bike brands, which I've never heard of. Yeah. You go to Garda, there's some Italian brands, which I've never heard of. And then I come here to Catalonia, and lo and behold, there's two, uh, two e-bike brands which seem to be launching bikes. At least they were local as well, weren't they? Yeah, totally. There was Megamo, and yeah. there was another company called Jotagas, which is famous for trials. I know so, I like your trials. You like well, your I trials. never knew that Megamo were from here. Yeah. Either. That's yeah. amazing, just to see them, actually, to be honest. Yeah, and it's interesting that uh, I met up with Hans Ray, and there's, yeah. a, uh, there's a Legends uh, trials event just down the coast. That's right, uh, riding old retro bikes, weren't they, yeah. as well? Now, we're going to talk to Hans yeah. Ray a little bit later, uh, but for the, for the time being, Doddy, uh, Let's talk about some nuggets for yeah. you from, from the mountain bike side of things. Uh, what, what did you see here at Sea Do you know what? For the first time any show I've been to, I struggled to find stuff that was non-e-bike related. <laughs> there was so much e-mountain bike stuff here, it became hard to find acoustic bikes. Crikey. If you're still using that word. Is that because that's where a lot of the love is at the minute with e-mountain e bikes? In, brands? Here in Europe, 100%. Yeah. Europe's crazy for e-bikes. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. What, what about, you know, when we were at Sea Otter in California, was, was there any localized brands which you... Loads of weird niche brands, yeah. as you'd expect. Uh, huge on the bike packing and gravel front, which we are starting to see more of. I'll tell you what, we can actually spend loads of time talking about e-gravel as well, which seems to be a bit of a theme out here too. Um, I'm quite surprised by that, to be honest. I kind of thought the whole thing with the adventure thing was to get off the beaten track and not have to rely on anything. <laughs> what do you mean, not have to rely? I'd rely on a motor. Like oh, it. come on, it's still a worker. Doddy, you're I'm still not, a novice that you No, 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 no. <laughs> no I'm, not, I'm not fighting the e-bike thing, but um, I always thought the adventure riding alone yeah. was a whole the excuse to get off the grid completely. To yeah. get away from stuff. Yeah. What, what happens if you want to ride something, you're genuinely alone. Can what? you charge the battery? Doddy being controversial. Of course you can. You take a little charge with you, you go to a pub or a hotel. It's easy. Simple. No, no, I mean off the beaten track. I don't mean going to a pub like your rides. I think this is a subject we should return to in future. But talking about charging in hotels, what about the food and... Uh, and, and sites here in Girona. Oh, the culture is just amazing. Loads of cycling themed cafes. We went to an excellent one. That was amazing. Forget the night. Do you know, um, I, I could actually go vegetarian from that cafe last, we went to last uh, night. Yeah, to be fair, the food was fantastic. It's really, and, really good. And Doddy's been enjoying the Game of Thrones locations immensely over the last few days. I didn't actually know that Girona was such a hotspot for that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the cathedral and the church, just staggering. Yeah, like, totally. Absolutely beautiful Yeah, place. all stars come to Girona. As we found out, we caught up with Hans Ray at the Ciela Festival. Yeah. Well, there's loads of characters to meet at uh, these mountain bike festivals. Uh, Hans Ray, all the way from California. It's probably a bit, about as hot here as it is in California, right? Man, it is hot today. Spain is living up to its reputation, I tell you that. Yeah, totally. Um, you must go to quite a few trade events and shows during the, during the season, right? How many did you go to? Yeah, well, this is the time of year where all these festivals happen and, and events like this, and it's fun. I go to probably about 10 throughout the year. Oh. You know, I mix it up between Stuff like Sea Otter in America, or, yeah, yeah. or the Malverns next in a couple of weeks, and then like um, Lago de Garda, or yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so much cool stuff going on. Hard life, right? It's a hard life, but it's a, <laughs> you know what? It's a great gathering these events because yeah. everybody comes together and celebrates the lifestyle yeah. of cycling. There's racing going on. There's the new products. People can demo bikes. It's a yeah. It's a really cool event to celebrate our culture, really. Now, I want to talk to you about trials, because yourself and the man behind the camera there, Victor Lucas. Um, now, when, when are we going to see the next level trials stuff on e-bikes, do you think? On e-bikes? I think it's going to come in the next... It's going to start in about the next year or so. I mean, honestly, there is already... Even like a few years ago, Tony Bow, who is a motorcycle trials uh, champion, he was playing around with the e-bike one yeah. summer quite a bit, and he yeah. did some pretty impressive stuff, things. Yeah. And and I have to say, just recently, I took my e-bike on a, some proper 
trials grounds and yeah. was just like practicing trials for fun. And I saw that. Not so much the hopping around, more yeah. like the old traditional yeah, totally. like pedaling non-stop, yeah, yeah. non-stop trials. And I have to say, it was really fun. But you know, I saw you earlier watching uh, that kid. Is it Danny Comas? Well, that Danny, Danny Gomez, and, yeah. and but also uh, Vincent Hermas was riding here today. Vincent yeah. Hermas, yeah. and these guys are the new school trials riders on regular trial bikes. But I mean, regular is like yeah. you know the the bikes are amazing. But what these guys do is so athletic and acrobatic, just I mean, like yourself. <laughs> yeah, but I mean the the stuff they jump. Some of the best athletes in the world. It couldn't jump up there without a bike. It is crazy. Nonetheless, isn't it? on a bike. It you is know? crazy. What, what these guys do deserves actually a lot more uh, yeah. recognition and uh, credits. Yeah, totally. Um, well, tell me yourself, Hans. What have you got? Have we got lined up? Any big trips lined up this summer? Uh, this summer, I'm going to play around. I'm going to spend a lot of time in Livigno, do some riding there. We have a cool little festival coming up mid July, the Greats. Yeah, well, hopefully, I can do a ride with you out there. Yeah, you should come I'll out. It's going to be a fun little grassroots festival, the Great uh, Days in mid July. But I am. Um, I'm going to be going to different events and then I'm, I'm really into these urban adventures. You know, I've done one in Napoli and one in LA and the next one's going to be in Hong Kong later on this year. Wow, Hong so, Kong. Trans Hong so, Kong. So uh, tune into that. Uh, Hans, I think it's time to get a beer, isn't it? Uh, in the tech this week, it's really good to see Megamo back and their new e-mountain bike. And here it is, the first and probably not the last e-mountain bike from Megamo here in Girona. 150mm travel, the Shimano E8000 motor and with a 630 watt hour battery in it. Uh, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Okay, time for bike talk. Now, Doddy, uh, I know that you're a big fan of uh, Kickstart back in the oh, 1980s. Yes. <laughs> uh, talking about e-mountain bike events here. Now, uh, I just I saw this uh, shot of Guido Chug yeah. at uh, Erzberg event in Austria, and it's an event called the Crone Hit. Head-to-head uh, -head over different obstacles. So and, this uh, is really similar to a lot of motorcycle trial stuff, isn't it? Where well, you see them on enduro bikes doing this sort of stuff. Yeah, I think it looks like a pretty good format, that That looks head. like an amazing format. Sort of like dual, but more technical. Um, I'm, I, can, I can easily see how that could be developed. 100%. Really this sort of stuff really pleased me. I think you need to make an EMBN little challenge like this, <laughs> I reckon, and you can have some sort of leaderboard. Totally. I think if you get some, if you've got some hill climbs in there, some descents yeah. in there, some technical or stuff. You, or it could be as short as a section like that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do and it. And out and back. going to do, do it. it. It's a great idea. Right, it's time for the comments. Uh, Doddy, you're going to love this one. This is from uh, JC Super Eagle. Uh, I really hope the motor manufacturers come up with some sort of gearbox so we can get rid of the cassette and the derailleur. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, it's, come on, it's way overdue now, right? It is, but um, not fighting the course for the derailleur here, but there's a few things to take into consideration. All right, so if you put all of that in one gearbox, that is a lot of stuff that has potential to go wrong, or the opposite, which would be really good if it worked. But the reason we're still using chain and cassettes on bikes is unfortunately because they've got the least amount of friction. Yeah, that's that's, we're still using it because that we haven't found a better way. But, I'd love a gearbox to but, work. But they do exist, as we found yeah. out in a Eurobike last year with the likes of Mubea and also Nikolai. Uh, coming up on the EMBN channel this week, we've got uh, how to get more range out of your e-mountain bike, and Chris has been doing another one, right? This is classic. <laughs> Worst things about being an e-mountain biker. Well, there aren't any. There's, there's loads of things. There aren't any. Oh, there simply aren't loads. any. Honestly. You've got to watch it to see. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for the bike fault, and it's great that Doddy's here to cast his photographic eye over proceedings. Doddy, what's first up? Uh, Dave in Derby in Tasmania. I mean, uh, that alone, I would say, deserves at least a nice. Um, <sighs> what's the bike? So that's a Giant Trance E Plus One Pro. I think we need, that's a that's nice, beautiful stream, but we need to go to Tasmania, Doddy. We do, we do. Okay. Sign us up, someone. Let's yeah. sort it out. Um, do you know what? I, Come on. Ah, it's a nice, a yeah. nice. It's a nice. It's a nice, okay. It's a nice, yeah. Uh, next up, we've got a reader here from Bryce in old Australia. Crikey, another Australian. Uh, Queensland, sorry. Actually, Tasmania is not in New Zealand or Australia, is it? Where is it's, it? It's, I mean, I thought you, it's I thought, an island off Australia. I thought you were hot on uh, on people and, and events. No, I just get the people confused, James, <laughs> not, not, not the countries. It's a reader, and it's, it's, oh, it, it's, Ah. It's nice. It's nice, it's nice. It's nice. So what have we got here? Oh, hello, this is a cool shot. Conway. Uh, Conway from Hungary. Wow. Um, oh. Yeah. Do you know what? I think it's nice getting some new brands. Yeah, that is it's super nice. Straight up, yeah. yeah. Good shot too. Yeah. 
Moving on it. to, uh, where are we here? Dublin. Yeah, Dublin Island. This is Alistair with his Canyon Neuron on. Yeah, new, new 130 miles nice bike. moody sky going on there. Yeah, is that processed, Doddy? Uh, a little bit, possibly. Yeah, but it looks nice. It's a nice? Yeah. It's a nice. Nice. Ooh, Ooh, I like that. That's got a bit of processing. I on like it. that though. Is it too much processing? This is from Cornwell. It may be the, uh, from the, the and the cube the Shadows are brought up a bit much, but it does look cool. It does. I mean, yeah, that, that makes. I me like the movie look. That yeah. makes me want to go to Cornwell. It uh, makes me want to go and ride that bike now. What is it? Hard tell. It's cube hard cube hybrid pro. That's a super nice. Okay, we've got a Scott here, a genius from Dumfries. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe Forest, that's a great spot. Yeah, Haven't fresh, been there for years. Freshly cut uh, Douglas, is it, or Larch? Can't actually see. That's a nice. Ooh, interesting. Whoa, that's look a current Canada's in Montero with a bit of a mud guard on the back. Up from from Winlatter. I, I would have questioned the mud guard, but you see, he's from Winlatter, so it does rain quite a lot up there. I think we'd give him that, wouldn't we? Uh, yeah. Doddy, what's he calling that? Yeah, one? It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Ooh, are we suckers, are we suckers for the sun? It's a decoy. Oh, that's a decoy. I haven't actually seen one of these properly. Hold on, a decoy's already landed in Concord, Calif in Ca Concord, California, right? Yeah. I mean, come on, that's easy, right? That's a super nice that's trip. That's a super nice. That is a bad boy of a bike. Yeah. Oh, I'm well, out that's of bike fault already. Bike fault, that is it. Okay, so there we go. It's another weekly EMBN show in the back. Um, for another couple of videos, click down there to check out that rad new Merida E160. And if you want to look at some motor trends, uh, there's a video done in Garda Festival in Stambia. So that's it from uh, Girona, Doddy. Uh, yeah. Let's know your thoughts on, uh, on the events and people and bikes from Girona. Give thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe on the globe, which is up in the sky above the Pyrenees.